What's up? How are you guys? Another Monday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat, and I have been counting down the days I'm going to escape to Colombia. But now with all the nonsense going on in Eastern Europe, maybe, maybe there's more opportunities with the lovely uh, Ukrainian and Russian ladies. But we got a few months before we start focusing more on that. In brighter news, we have a few new products available on Frankie's Free Range Meat as of today. And throughout the rest of this week, we will be getting some more products as well. So the apple banana macadamia nut bar is officially for sale. You guys already bought about half of them. And this isn't uh, the final formula. There's actually a little bit too much fat in these. Uh, so, I mean, I can't even finish half this bar. It's so, so dense. If I had to bet, this is at least like 350 to 400 calories. All it is is dried apples, dried bananas, macadamia nuts, macadamia nut butter, a little bit of salt, and a tiny bit of flextro. So it's not really that sweet, just like a super dense. And the main reason I made this was because it's very, very easy on the liver. It doesn't have that much protein in it. But the only thing I'm gonna do to these is probably add uh, some coconut flour or something else just to kind of break up all of that fat because uh, as I said, the macadamia nut butter is like so monounsaturated, it's really satiating. Maybe I need to use walnut butter, but these are very, very delicious. You guys have already been enjoying these. We have these on frankiesforangefoods.com. What we don't have is the best bars. We're basically completely sold out. I'll try to make some more of them this week uh, because we're just about out of the way protein powder. So maybe we'll have a few in stock, keep an eye out for that. Uh, same with the... Um, same with the pemmican. We're kind of running out of everything else, but we'll try to make some this week. On the topic of Frankie's Free Range Foods, we do have some apple, lemon, and plain water kefir in stock. The plain beef jerky is going low, but we're gonna get some more this week and, and do a nice flavor jerky with like some coconut aminos, a little bit of honey, thyme, coriander seasonings. We will be color coding the water kefir, so if you guys get apple lemon, it's gonna be red. Uh, if we do ginger lime again, it's gonna be green. The pineapple is gonna be yellow. Maybe we'll do some orange because I bought this orange tape. And then uh, the plane, of course, is just gonna be a uh, clear tape. Into the depths of the freezer. One of the new products we have available is ground steak. So we have ground New York strip steak as well as ground ribeye. Guys, if you try these out, please let me know how you like them. And, you know, I think it's something special and hopefully that reflects in the taste and enjoyment of the product. But we have a pretty limited amount. Uh, so, and we might not have them back for like another few weeks. So if you guys want to try it, definitely get it within a week or two. I'm going to put the Wagyu strip steaks and Wagyu ribeye steaks on sale because we're getting some more in this week. So if you guys want a really good deal on those, keep an eye out today. So some of you guys might remember we had ground Iberico pork last year and it was in a five pound package. So that might have deterred a lot of you guys from buying it. Now we have one pound Spanish Iberico di Bolota pork available. No one else is selling this in the United States, as far as I know. Authentic Spanish ground Iberico pork. So, you guys wanna try that out? It's a bit on the pricier side. I think it's about $14 a pound right now. I mean, which for Iberico pork to me is not that expensive, but compared to regular pork, you know, people usually aren't willing to pay that high of a price, but it's very, very special. Uh, it's actually so dark, it looks like beef. And I'll put up uh, the pictures that I took last week. And, uh, really really delicious stuff you can literally smell the acorns and the nuts and all of those aromatics that the pigs were eating in the spanish pasture so i'm gonna take a look at my to-do list because i cannot remember half of this stuff for the life of me and i should have said this at the beginning if you guys didn't know all of our meat is halal every single cut so i know a lot of muslim people buy from me and people do want the halal meat all of the beef all of the lamb is halal we lowered the price on the marrow bones because I'm getting a shipment in in a month or two and I kind of want to push those out. Although, you know, the grass-fed organic uh, marrow bones are very, very expensive and we don't really make that much of a profit on them. We might have some lamb heads in this week. I know you guys have been asking for lamb brains, but uh, the heads might be all I can get. And we did run out of roast beef. So there's maybe five orders. If you guys got roast beef, I'm going to try to get them out by Wednesday of this week. If not, I will email you guys and let you know. So I think that's everything this week on the meat end of things. And we will have a few new products available next week that I will show you guys. 
Uh, the bone and ribeye is going to be back in stock. A whole bunch of stuff to show you, just like this week. I mean, obviously showing you guys a bunch of ground ribeye and strip and uh, you know pork and just the white package. That's not that exciting. So next week the products we do will be a bit more uh, cool to look at. And I have a styrofoam temple, as you guys can see. I actually have to find a new supplier for these coolers because I had to pay like three thousand dollars just to have them shipped on a truck over here. So I think that's one of the reasons. I'm not really making any money down here. So I decided to do kind of like one last big stock up on the coolers and then hopefully I can find a different supplier before, uh, before I go completely broke. Nothing really going on down here at Oregon Supplements. I know I showed you guys the boron, molybdenum, and manganese last week. We did the plain magnesium oil the week before. I think next week I might also do just kind of a rundown of all the organ supplement stuff and kind of explain things, or I'll do a separate video because you guys have been asking for that, but uh, it's, it's quite a bit to explain, so I don't really want to do it now. Same with all of the you know, organ powders and the enzyme blends. I mean, I think I did like four or five months ago, uh, but we do have a lot of new subscribers and people that are, are watching, so they don't really know what some of this stuff is, and we're kind of running low on the Masticum too. Uh, so I'll try to explain some of this to you guys more in depth next week. Frankie's Naturals, Wi-Fi shielding, nothing really going on. We are running out of a few sizes on the, the new joggers and the sweatshirts, canopies running a little low too. I've been procrastinating going to Queens to pick up like uh, the new kind of baby toddler uh, things that, um, that the tailor made for me just because I don't want to sit in my car for two hours. But I'll try to get those this week and we'll try to restock some stuff on Wi-Fi shielding. Let's wander back upstairs and take a quick look around and then we'll wrap things up for you guys. So my guys have been working hard all morning. We got two pallets of meat orders there. Finishing up another over here. We have the post office orders from all of the other businesses. And the order volume has been a bit higher these uh, past few weeks, mainly because uh, the distributors that I purchased from in the farms have been keeping more of the stuff in stock, so I haven't been running out and losing customers. I mean, <laughs> I'm not too optimistic about that uh, keeping up and being consistent, but we'll see how it goes. So as always, if you guys have any problems with your orders, any issue whatsoever, if there's a delay, if you're not happy, please just send an email to the corresponding company. I will be putting uh, slips, which I haven't been doing with like some more information on the products and how to contact us better in the packages moving forward. But you guys know that you can go to frankdashstefano.com to see all of my businesses. Please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow. I think we're going to do a video on acne that uh, some of you have been waiting a while for.